everybody. It's Grandma Jean. I'm back in the kitchen again. I have a new recipe today. It's very, very nourishing. It's easy, fast. You will love it. It's very nutritional for your family and it makes your budget go quite a ways. The name of my recipe today is ham with fresh string beans, potatoes, and it's more or less a stew. We're going to put it on top of our stove. Here's a list of the ingredients. We're going to need ham, cut up into bite-sized pieces. Uh, I have a piece of ham that's about two pounds. Now, there are people that called yesterday and said they had a ham in the freezer from Christmas. So what they're going to do is they're going to take it out and use part of it today and make this stew with me. And I'm thrilled. So we have ham. We're going to have fresh string beans cut up bite size. Our potatoes will also be cut up bite size. We will use one large or medium onion to your taste. Also, you can use carrots. It's optional. I'm not going to use carrots today. A one and one half teaspoon of salt, less than a quarter teaspoon of pepper, according to your taste also, and one teaspoon of parsley flakes. Water, that's it. Fast, easy, simple, but so nourishing. You're going to love it. So we have our fresh string beans here. You take and cut the tips off of your string beans and then off both ends and then you're going to take and I'm going to cut them up into bite-sized pieces. I believe we will have at least, we do have two cups of potatoes cut up that I already cut up. So there's two cups of potatoes and we will probably have also two cups just cut them up into bite-sized pieces. And I'm gonna tell you, years ago, when I was young, and I would take and cut my beans up, I would almost measure them. Can you believe that? That they would all look alike <laughs> and all be the same size. Over the years, I don't do that. I just cut them up into bite-sized pieces. Well, I'm done cutting up all of my vegetables. My potatoes, we have two cups of potatoes cut up. We have two cups of beans cut up, two cups of ham cut up. We have our onion, water, our salt, pepper, and parsley flakes. Everything is going to go in at one time. So we'll start. Well, we've put some water in already. Turned up my heat. We'll sprinkle in our salt, pepper, and parsley flakes. Now in goes potatoes. I've already put four cups of water in. Here go the beans. Oh, they are so nice and fresh and crisp. I love string beans. Oh, and they are so good for you. Oh. I'm going to slip my onion in, get in there, and of course the ham. Doesn't that look delicious? Mm -hmm. It does. Okay. Now we are also going to need more water. So what we're going to do, we're going to put more water in to cover. You want everything covered really nicely because it's going to boil down. Okay, now we're going to take and turn the heat up to boil. We're going to put, put it on boil. Once it starts to boil, we're going to take and turn our heat down, reduce your heat, and let it simmer. Let it simmer for approximately an hour, maybe 15 minutes. But while it's cooking, do what I do. I taste it a little bit to make sure 
that it's done. So when it's done, we're ready to enjoy. It is. I believe your family will really, really enjoy this. All right, our stew is finished. And now we're going to enjoy what we made. If you'd care to add a little broth, just take and add a touch of broth to it. All right, now, if you like your vegetables al dente, you may only have to leave your stew on for approximately 45 minutes. That's what I did, because I do like my vegetables to be just a little bit more uh, al dente. All right, now is the time to taste it and see what we've accomplished. And when your family gives you raves at supper time, let them know how hard you worked at that kitchen. It, it, it's probably quite hot, let me see. Mmm. Oh gosh, this is delicious. And I'll tell you what, al dente is great because your vegetables are cut up small and it doesn't take long to cook. Oh, this, um, oh, this is very good. Mmm. And it's so tender, so nourishing. Until we meet again, uh, it would be very nice if you could sprinkle this. Don't forget, sprinkle a little kindness along the way.